Good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's Reading the Red this Monday morning. Uh, no doubt about the weather today. It's raining. Hey, it's Monday. What do we expect? But I pray that God will give you a blessed day anyway. Matthew 18, verse 28. Jesus having revealed that the king was prepared to forgive this slave that had owed him 10,000 talents, completely forgiven him, completely released him from the debt. You would think that this slave would be so filled with joy and uh, he would have captured the moment from the king and embraced that sense of um, generosity that he had received, that generosity that he had been shown. And he would have went out and he would have just wanted to bless everyone. Well, let's see what happened in verse 20. Um, 28. But the slave went out and found one of his fellow slaves who owed him a hundred denarii. And he seized him and began to choke him, saying, Pay back what you owe. So this slave, having been released, now goes out and decides he's also going to call a camp with regards to anyone that owes him anything. And bearing in mind that whatever he had and lent belonged to the king anyway. And so he's lent others various different things and he wants payback. He says, today you're, we want the money back. We want the what you owe me, pay back. And like that slave, he said, give me time. And this guy is ruthless. He's not interested. He, he wants to just grab him and he's choking him and he's trying to take charge of him and he's trying to make him pay back. And you have to ask the question, where's all that compassion that's been shown you? Where's all that mercy that's been shown you, slave, why aren't you offering the same level of compassion, the same level of mercy to your fellow slave? You've just been forgiven a whole host of things. You could never have paid back. The king has released you from your debt completely. Why would you not offer the same level of compassion and mercy to someone else in need that you yourself has received. And why wouldn't a slave offer that level of compassion and mercy? What makes some people so willing to just be takers, but not willing to be givers? What makes a heart of generosity? Why can't people see that the generosity of receiving is received in order to be shared. You know, one of the things that Christians need to realise is that, yes, God has forgiven us because of Jesus. But likewise, God expects Christians to forgive those who offend them. A willingness to be generous to others who have offended them, even as God has given them, us, forgiveness ourselves. So we need to be wise as we receive from God because God has an expectation that we will offer the same level of generosity to others. Go out there and share what God has shared with you. Have a blessed Monday daytime. See you tomorrow.